start over there with Michael. Raise your, keep your hands up, please. Nate, Grant kind of described some of the situation with Mark. Is that how you saw it with him uh, coming out of the game? And uh, I don't think he played for the final 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, he uh, he was great on the bench. I mean, he just he was struggling. You know, there's a lot of pressure on him, obviously, being a home state kid that came back to preseason player of the year. You know, he's, he's trying to do well. Teams are gearing their defense towards him. You know, he had some good looks tonight. They just didn't go. But, you know, I, I you know, he, I, I try, I took him out, kind of let him get his head, head together a little bit, and I, I tried to put him back in. He just said, look, they're playing well. I'll be honest with you, similar to like Herb Jones has done it before. We've got some really good players here that have just kind of been unselfish enough and want to win bad enough to just say, hey, let, let the guys go. They're playing really well. Leave them in. So, uh, that's what I did. So I, I tried to put him back in in the middle of that 11 minutes, but he uh, had a timeout. He just he just said, leave these guys in. They were playing pretty well. He was right, so we left them in. They went on a run and won it. I'm sure he'll bounce back and be pretty good against Houston. Brent, uh, Coach, close to 40 points off the bench tonight. What does that say about the depth and the rotation that you guys were able to execute tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously Holloway shooting it like he did helps a lot with the, with the bench, you know. I think Terry and Nate and Sherell kind of showed what they're capable of. You know, they're starting to both get a little more comfortable. You know, they bet they threw in another three for us. And, you know, I think Jaron's got a huge uh, jump he can still make this year. So, uh, you know, we're deep. Everybody knew we were deep. But we needed the bench tonight. You know, with, you know how Mark maybe struggled shooting it a little bit. So, you know, Holloway came in, helped us out a little bit. So I th- thought it was big. I mean, I think our bench will probably give us pretty pretty good production most of the year because there's going to be some, quite a few guys that will be starting in most places coming off the bench. So we'll, we'll get pretty good bench production, I would guess, most of the year. Nick Kelly. Yeah, Nate, uh, another game where Cliff got in foul trouble, but obviously when he's in, I mean, makes some really big plays, uh, a couple dunks late. Um, what do you guys need to do to help him to maybe not be in that position as much? Yeah, I, I mean, he's he, got, he picks up some silly ones, you know, where he's, Gets out of position and kind of comes in uh, late, so we gotta we gotta keep working with him on some of that. You know, be, him being in a drop like we've got him in, you know, he, he didn't really play like that at, at Rutgers, so he's just gotta continue to get better. I thought we'd be seeing him get better and better in the drop. I think when Grant went to the five and kind of got in the drop, you know, he had a black shot. I think he'd done a little more, so you can see he's a little more experienced with it. So we, we just gotta keep working with him on that, and then you know keep working but like you said I mean he was plus 14 when he was in the game he played 15 minutes we were plus 14 with him in there so we got to try to keep him out of foul trouble so we can keep him in the game a little bit longer. Jack. <laughs> you talked about wanting to see a response after the Purdue game to you know to see this team how they responded to their first loss what did you see from that tonight and how big is, is a response like this from a confidence standpoint moving forward? Oh, I think it's big we need to play against a high major team a good one a top 25 team and be able to get a win, and I, I, I didn't even think we played great in a lot of areas. I mean, you look at the offensive rebounds we gave up. You know, we, we didn't shoot it particularly well from some of our better shooters, and you know we were still able to score 100 points. So, you know, we, we did take care of the ball a lot better, and I thought our defense improved. So, I think we need to continue to see little things improve and do well, and just keep building on it. Just. Houston's obviously really tough, really good, giving up 14 on boards. And Illinois is very good. They got length everywhere. They go to the old boards. They're one of the better rebounding teams in the country, but they're, they're not at the same level as Houston's going to be on the offensive glass. So we're, we're going to have to really pick it up on our defensive rebounding. That you know Purdue kind of got to us there. Illinois got to us. So we're going to have to make huge more emphasis on that going going forward. On the right, coach with Joe Goodman. Hey, are you surprised LeBaron's this far along? Uh, you know what, from, from what I thought, when we go back to last spring when he um, opened his recruitment up and we took him, yes, I'm surprised from then. But if you'd asked me after the summer, after watching what he did, June, July, August, September, like he's, he came in and established himself as one of the best guards in the program right out of the gate in the month of June. So I think he, he came in competing. I mean, he had the right mindset coming in, though. Like when, when he opened his recruitment up, he kind of made the point I think one of the statements might have been, you know, if I'm not going to play much, because Kansas took a lot of transfer guards, that's where he'd sign. If I'm not going to play much, I'd, ra- I'd rather be home in Alabama, at Alabama, you know, 
if I'm not gonna play much. Well, I, I just said, look, just come in and work hard. We'll see what you can earn. So we kind of just came in like expecting nothing, had to earn everything. And when you feel like you gotta earn everything, that's when I think you start playing your best. So that's why we don't ever promise anybody minutes, starting spots, anything around here. I think you make everybody come in and earn it. And you, also you get guys like LeBaron that blossom and he's kind of earned it from summer, fall practice. He's, he's one of our hardest competitors in practice every day. He's, you know, he's winning the blue collar in practice. He won the blue uh, hard hat tonight. I mean, he just makes a bunch of tough plays and just loses himself in the game. I don't think he's worried about how many points he scores, well, how many times he touches it, how many minutes he's played. Just if he's in, he's playing hard, playing the right way, and it shows. Got away. Is this what you envisioned when Aiden Holloway became available, and how did he speed up the offense tonight as opposed to at Purdue? Yeah, I, we didn't play fast enough against Purdue. I, one of the clips that we did play fast enough was him. He got down, he'll score a layup. So we just said we want to keep the pace going. You know, I think it's easier to play fast when you got three of those four guards in. So, you know, he, uh, I thought he pushed the pace tonight. Uh, he's super skilled. I mean, he's as good a shooter as I've ever coached. So the fact that he went three or four from three is not, not really that shocking. I'd venture to say he's going to have plenty of other games where he goes three or four, four or five, five or six. So who knows? He, he, can, he can shoot it, and his pace is good. His skill level is high. He's got a good finishing package in the lane. He, he's good. So I, I don't know that I would say I envision this because I, I, we knew he was really good coming out of high school. I think maybe, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit to adjust and, you know, in college or whatever. He definitely had some good games at Auburn. But, you know, uh, we thought he could be more like what he was coming out of high school, and I think that's what you saw tonight. Blake. Illinois had a couple six oh seven oh run punches in the second half. Just how would you assess your team's ability to respond to those and still keep the double digit lead? Yeah, I, I think it cut it to uh, eight at one point, if I remember right. I think maybe we had a fourteen point lead. I, I, um, I could be wrong. Maybe they, they cut it even lower than that. Uh, I think maybe eight was where it got. So uh, you know we were up eighteen at one point in the first half. I think we were up maybe seventeen in the second half. If I remember at some point. It cut it to eight, and I think that's when I called the timeout. I thought we, we came out of the timeout, played pretty well. I think we went on a 7-0 run after the timeout. So I think and it started with some defense. We got some transition buckets off our defense, and then, you know, they made some tough shots. I thought we did a better job keeping them off. They ended with 14 old boards. They had 13 with about 12 minutes to go in the game. So, you know, we kept talking about making sure they didn't get any old boards. They got the one there late. I think Will Riley got it, if I remember right. But... Other than that, I thought we did a better job keeping them off the glass. You know, and they're going to make some tough shots. You know, sometimes basketball is a game of runs, but you got to make them keep taking tough shots. Don't give up old boards, nothing easy. And then we just had to make sure we had some better shots on our end. We, we got to do a better job getting the offensive boards and get some easy easy looks, too. Last one, Joe Gaither. <clears throat> Coach, yesterday you talked about getting Aiden Terrell more minutes. Uh, what did you see out, out of his actions tonight? Yeah, I thought he was good. I mean, he, uh, you know, we want him to shoot the ball with confidence. He finally got him to drop a three. We've seen him shoot well in practice. I thought he had a, he had a nice uh, lob he caught. You know, he, he played pretty physical. He had some rebounds. So a lot, lot, lot more like what I, we thought we'd have got. You know, and I got him more minutes. So, you know, I thought he deserved more minutes. I thought he, I should have played him more at Purdue, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, he played, he played a lot better for us tonight. You know, for him to be plus eight in his nine minutes was, was pretty good. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Evan.